This is Smiles TV. Welcome to Smiles Television Talk Show. I'm your host, Stephanie Anthony Mouse, and thank you for tuning in again. Today we're going to talk about something a little different. Erica Brown Gales has created a company called Virtual Closures. Virtual Closures allows us to come together as families and friends in a time when we cannot gather together physically. You don't want to miss this broadcast. Stay tuned for more smiles. Remember, Jesus Christ was born of a virgin. He was crucified and buried, and he rose on the third day. Confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord. Believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, and thou shalt be saved. Are you looking for an insured and bonded residential or commercial contractor? On Time Contracting, owned by Ali McDowell, is just a phone call away. On Time Contracting operates with the utmost integrity and quantities to complete your project right on time. Residential or commercial, exterior or interior, roofing, siding, flooring, you name it. If you want your project completed for the price quoted and at the time quoted, contact On Time Contracting. Good, quality, professional work guaranteed to be completed on time. Call 618-567-3591. No project is too large or too small. On Time Contracting. Call On Time Contracting today. Erica Brown Gales, a funeral celebrant and founder of Virtual Closure Memorial Services, has created a unique way to honor the loss of your loved ones. Using Virtual Closure, your family and friends can have an intimate, safe place to celebrate, connect, and remember. Erica Brown Gales emphasizes that Virtual Closure will also help you to share your loved ones' stories and provide you with the opportunity to shed light on the essence of who they are, as well as help you and your loved ones to find closure. The Virtual Closure platform eliminates distance and circumstantial barriers. For more information, visit the Virtual Closure website at www.virtualclosure.com. Welcome back to Smiles TV. I'm sitting here with Erica Brown Gales, who is the founder and owner of a company called Virtual Closure Virtual Memorial Services. Erica. Thank you for joining us on Smiles TV. How are you? I'm great. Thank you for inviting me. And you know what I did not say? You're also a, a funeral celebrant. Yes, certified. Certified. Okay. Well, let's, let's dig into this. Tell us about, first of all, what is a funeral, a certified funeral celebrant? Well, I took a seven-month course with the Celebrant Foundation and Institute. And it takes you through learning this, how to conduct ceremonies, whether they're weddings, funerals, baby blessings, and how to write them and the history of ceremonies from the beginning to the middle to the end. How to meet with families and take the information about their loved one. And we call it a soul sketch to actually put together a eulogy. And practicing funeral celebrants go inside funeral homes and they moderate or facilitate a service. They work with the family they meet with the family to learn more about their loved one so they can create a personalized service for them. Well, tell us a little bit about virtual closure and the concept. Give us a little bit of your story. Well, it started with my sister-in-law when she passed in November of 2020. And during that time, it was the height of COVID and she was in Texas. Her daughter was in California. Her brother, my husband, was actually here in Illinois. Mm -hmm. And I started researching a way to virtually do the service until her, her daughter was able to actually plan an actual memorial service. But during that research, I also realized that there was lots of individuals during this time that was not able to celebrate or honor, pay honor and tribute to the life of their loved one. Mm -hmm. And I also saw it as past COVID. So it was just not during COVID, but it was post-COVID as well that we could 
have a way for family and friends to gather no, where, no matter where they were located in the United States and not have the cost associated with coming to pay tribute to the uh, loved one that was lost. So in essence, virtual closure is a way in which families can actually have funeral services in a virtual world. Yes, the only thing that I would correct is that of a funeral because a funeral is when a body's present. Okay. A memorial service is when a body's not present. Mm -hmm. So my client that I'm looking for is someone that has already buried or cremated their loved one. It could be a remembrance um, virtual memorial service or a tribute page. It could be an anniversary. It could be 10, 20 years ago and they just want to honor that person's life and make this legacy, a digital le legacy that generations to come can view it. Death is something that most of us don't want to talk about. But yes. it's a part of life. It's just the end of life. So how do you um, get your clients to buy into the concept? Um, we all want to retain some things that we can look back on. So I know that would be a great selling point, but how do you get your clients who may want to have a regular funeral and, and they just can't? What do you do to encourage them in that regard? Well, I, I know that during COVID, some people had funerals and they did not have the, the gist of their family there because of the restrictions. Also know people that have had funerals that wasn't happy with the outcome. They didn't quite pay the tribute to their loved one that they wanted to pay. And then they decide, well, I'm, I can try it again. I can either have more people there or I can actually write the narrative and the script for how this service is going to be. I know it's a difficult subject to talk about, but we're all going to be there one day. And one of the things that I want to share and talk about is let's talk about death while we're alive. Let's talk about what we want. I found that when I share examples of my work that I have people that say, I want that type of service. You know, uh, because now they see that they can write their own narrative on how they want their life to be told, their life story to be told. And in addition to having a service, a virtual service, if an individual wants to have a traditional service, they can do that and then also come back and, and um, retain the memories through your company. Is that correct? That is correct. They can choose to do a tribute page that if they recorded that memorial service or funeral service, I can actually place that on their tribute page. Uh, so a tribute page is almost like a program. Mm -hmm. It has their header photo, their obituary. I try to work with the family to write a story like I did one for my father. And it was remembering our dad. And it was pretty lengthy. But I gathered information from his sister, uh, my memories, my sister, um, and the family. And I put together why was he important to us, the difference that he made in our lives. So yeah, you can have had that, and you can do a tribute page if you don't want to do a memorial service. And there are other things that you can do with your company, and we're going to talk about that when we come back from the break. How about that? That'll work. Don't go away. We'll be right back with Erica Brown Gales, the owner of Virtual Closures. Stay tuned for more smiles. You visit Big Mamas in East St. Louis, Illinois, located at 5900 St. Clair Avenue, you will need a fork and a bib. Big Mamas is known for their barbecue, cakes, excellent service, and giving back to the community. Call in, eat in, drive through, carry out, order for your office. You can call Big Mamas at 618-398-8950 or visit 5900 St. Clair Avenue in East St. Louis, Illinois. Welcome back to Smiles TV. I'm sitting here with Erica Brown Gales, and she's the owner of Virtual Closure. I think earlier I said Virtual Closures with an S. The name of the company is Virtual Closure. Erica? Yes. You guys do a lot of different things, and you don't only do um, funerals, or not funerals, but memorials. Yes. So explain to our audience how else they may utilize things from your company, and what are some of the um, benefits of using virtual closure. Okay, no problem. <laughs> As I explained earlier, I uh, did a remembrance tribute for my dad. My dad passed in 2009, and for Father's Day, um, I wanted to do a remembrance tribute for him uh, because he had a memorial service. 
And as I was going through his, um, his information, there was a folder that said, read this upon my death. So I wanted to make sure I included that. It was a poem by William Bryant. So with the tribute pages, you can, I, I pointed that out because he died in 2009 and the tribute page was done. And the feedback that I got, because you can respond, there's a guest book that uh, you can reply to. And my cousins and my sons all replied to how much it brought back memories. And mm -hmm. my son being 35 was saying, I didn't even know these things about my grandfather and how wonderful it is to learn about someone when I wasn't even here. Now I look at them as just a whole person instead of just a relative. Mm -hmm. So the tribute pages are an awesome way to, to really capture the essence of who that person was. And it can be customized any kind of way that you like it. My father's favorite color was red. So of course, and then he read books. He was a, a voracious reader, an avid fisherman. So a lot of the background uh, reflects his life mm. and what he loved about life. Well, I'm a client. Walk mm -hmm. me through the process. I want to use your services. So just walk me through the process of doing a service for a loved one. You go to my website. You click on Contact Me. It will ask you what service that you're interested in. You click on that. It'll ask you if you have any other additional information you want to know. And then you will immediately get a response back with a Zoom link to set up a free consultation. And at that time, we talk a half an hour to an hour. What is it that you want? What does you want it to look like? Are there particular colors? And then I actually send that client a questionnaire to fill out to give me more information. And once I get that questionnaire, there's a Zoom link set up um, and a Google Drive link. And then they start to drop their information, whether it is the header photos, uh, videos, they start to drop that information into a Google Link Drive. Part of my website, I have a back office and everything, all our communication and email is centered there. And then after I get all of their photos, I have an independent contractor that does my tribute pages. And she works on the tribute pages with my help. And then the client has two drafts. We send them the first draft. And they, okay, is this what you want? We tweak it to what they want. We send them the second draft. And once it's finalized, that's a seven-day process that it takes us to do the page once they get all their information in. Okay. So uh, a client can take their time, uh, but once they get all the information in and it's finalized and all the photos are named, then we normally tell them within five to seven days we'll have your tribute page complete. And then it's a personalized URL. So it'll be my website forward slash that uh, customer's name. As a matter of fact, name. since we're talking about your website, why don't you tell our audience how they can make contact with you through that website? My website is Virtual Closure, V-I-R-T-U-A-L-C-L-O-S-U-R-E dot com. Um, there's lots of resources on my website. Uh, I actually have examples of the tribute pages on my website. My service, who's the service for, uh, and the benefits of utilizing virtual closure. Okay, while we were off camera, we were talking, and you said something to the nature a lot, that a lot of times when people pass, we don't get to see or don't understand maybe why or how, and those are, that's information that's usually kept you know, within the family or whatever. But you were mentioning a way in which you can possibly bring people into the um, process a little bit. Yeah, when I did my training as a funeral celebrant, we call that creating a sacred space. Mm. And we found that that was missing a lot in a lot of services uh, that people attended, whether it was a funeral service or a memorial service. Uh, people, we know that we have tragic deaths and, and sometimes they get hushed, hushed. And so I think that people just, that just furthers the grief because sometimes there can be shame associated with grief, anger, guilt, uh, resentment. Um, so we try to open up that space and when we talk about their loved one. And we just briefly might mention how they mm -hmm. passed or mm -hmm. transitioned. Mm -hmm. And then we also will talk about the feelings that's associated okay. with losing someone, whether tragically or from natural causes. 
That's excellent. That's, and that's very different. It is because we just tend to gloss over it. Mm -hmm. And then when people leave there, I just think they leave kind of unfulfilled mm -hmm. or it didn't quite, you know, virtual closure is not saying that you're going to be, it's going to provide all the closure that you need. Because when you lose a loved one, they're always going to be part of your life and part of your memories. And what virtual closure does is we do that digital legacy of those memories because that's all you have. That's right. And one more thing. Yes. I'm in high school. Or, uh, no, I'm out of high school, and uh, my graduating class is getting together. How can your services be used for such a group? You know, that's a great question. While I launched Virtual Closure in February of 2020, I actually worked with some classmates because I, I'm surprised I don't have on my blue for Eastside. Mm -hmm. But we did. We could not have our class reunion, our 45th class reunion in uh, 2020. So what we did in 2021 is we did a memorial tribute because at every class reunion, we always memorialize those that have gone on before us. So I worked with the group, but I was pretty much the background in it. And we memorialize uh, 77 class members mm -hmm. and we had pastors from our class. We had singers that was part of our class and they sent in songs. The pastors were all on the Zoom call and they participated. So yes, we do organizational uh, virtual services for, um, for up to 77 to 100 people. We need to wrap up, but you also mentioned something about the five R's. Yeah, one of the things that I like to do different when I say that virtual closure is a new kind of way to honor and celebrate the life of your loved one is that I like to, instead of doing the traditional way, the invocation, the prayer, the scripture, a song, I like, I call it the five R's. So we re reunite, we get all together. Okay. All the family come together. We reflect. And again, this goes back to creating that sacred space. Why are we here? Mm -hmm. To celebrate this person's life. And then the feelings that's associated with being here. And then we remember that person. And then we rejoice and we thank God for having this person in our lives. Mm -hmm. And at the end, we reconnect. How many times do you have family and friends say, hey, we got to get together before a funeral. Only time we see each other is during a funeral. So part of the registration process, our tech person will, will combine all the names of everybody that participated. And we send them out to everybody so there can be a reconnection after the funeral and not waiting until someone memorial service uh, passes. Is there anything that we did not get a chance to discuss that you feel is very important for you, the audience to know? Well, one of the things that I think is really important is my upcoming tab that I'll have ready on my website, and that's resources. Okay. And it's resources for grief, it's resources for mental health, because I think a lot of us are affected by the mental health, some from grieving, but just from mental health. Uh, there's resources for what's needed before you die. There's so many times that people die that no one knows what their loved one wishes was and wants. Mm -hmm. And then there's also resources for funeral homes throughout the United States. So all these resources that I'm providing, you can just okay. click on the state. And then the last thing that I forgot to add is that I do offer prepaid services for all of those, for the tribute page, as well as the memorial service. And you can do two payments with all of my services okay. once we have our consultation. Okay, give your website one more time. Virtualclosure.com. Easy, virtualclosure.com. Thank you, Erica Brown Gales, for coming to Smile Television Talk Show. Thank you. And um, you have very unique services, and I pray that things go well. Thank you very much. Thank you for tuning in to Smile Television Talk Show again. Erica Brown Gales, Virtual Closure. Contact her. Just go on the website. Remember, only what you do for Christ will last, and Jesus is the Lord. The Lord be magnified. Keep smiling. You look better when you smile. The Smiles Television Talk Show wants to showcase your business, organization, church, and activities. If you have an interest in being a guest on Smiles Television Talk Show, or if you have any show ideas, contact Stephanie Anthony Miles at smilestv777 at gmail.com. You may also call 618-741-3770. Tell your friends to subscribe to the Smiles YouTube channel. Let Smiles TV increase your reach. Remember, 
you look better with smiles. IDEX Media does a lot. From IDEX Photography to IDEX Films. We help create forever memories and forever impressions. Image a nation. Image a world. IDEX Media. Awesome sauce. Yeah, baby. Whoa.